installing an MSATA card in Drobo. Hi guys, today we're going to talk to you a little bit about getting a little bit more performance out of your newest 5A units, whether it be the 5N2 or the 5D3. Um, so you've already probably put in the best drives possible based on our drive recommended page, but we're going to tell you a little bit about this port on the bottom of our Drobo, which is the MSATA port. So you're going to get a card that kind of looks something like this. This is your MSATA card. So it's a simple chip that kind of holds some memory on it. In this case, it's 128 gigabytes. Um, and what the MSATA card does is instead of utilizing only the five bays you have here, it will also add a hot data cache to the bottom of your Drobo. So what it's going to do is in time, it learns what files you're accessing most readily and will allow you to access that via the MSATA cache. So it's gonna store it on here to give you up to about 30% uh, faster access times. So we're gonna show you how to install this in one of the newer 5Bay products. Whenever you're accessing the MSATA port or MSATA card, you always wanna make sure your unit's powered off as indicated here. There's no green blinking lights, there's no green solid lights or yellow standby lights. That's the biggest thing is you want to make sure you're safely shut down with Drobo dashboard. And then we can go ahead and safely and carefully turn the unit over on its back and go ahead and start inserting the MSATA card. So to turn it over, we're going to take both hands. The unit's powered off. We're going to turn it slightly to its side first. And then we're going to make one more rotation to get it on its back. And now we want to make sure we're doing this really carefully because if you have drives installed as well, that's why you want to be really careful. And whenever you set this back right side up, you want to make sure that you do check your drive latches and make sure everything's seated correctly if you're doing this with drives already installed. Uh, ideally, you want to do this before you have your drives installed, but you can, like anything, Drobo simple, you can do this at any time. Okay, so now that we have the Drobo turned upside down, we can see on the bottom of the Drobo is this little latch. And just like everything Drobo, there's no tools required. So you simply just pull the latch back, lift the cover up, and here's another indicator that says, do not touch this bay or the MSATA card unless the unit's powered off. Just another reminder, you know, we don't wanna make sure you get into any data loss or anything like that. That's why you have to always shut down your unit whenever you're working on it. Just like a car, you're not gonna leave your car running when you're operating on it. So another quick note we can see right here is uh, if you ever lose your serial number, it's always on the bottom of your unit here. I know we don't often look at the bottom of our units, but you know that's, that's another place to find your serial number. So now you wanna notice on your MSATA port, you have a smaller pin and a longer pin set. So you're gonna see the same thing here. You're gonna see a smaller pin set on the right side here and a longer pin set on the left. And then you're gonna notice the two holes here. And that's perfectly aligned to take the smaller end, insert it into the smaller slot back here. And then as you push down, there's two little black pins here that will fall into the circles. And that lets you know you have a, a full seating of the MSATA card. Now we're gonna take our lid, place it back on. And just like that, the MSATA card's installed. Now we're gonna take a minute, flip it back over and make sure that we do this really carefully. And then once we do that, we're going to go check all the drives again and make sure everything's seated. Okay, so now we're going to turn the unit over very carefully. We just finished installing the card on top. So we're going to take one turn again, turn it over slightly, you know, drop it, and then go one final rotation over here. Make sure it's all lined up. Okay, take the cover off because, you know, like we said, always check the uh, drives. Make sure they're seated before we power up. And that's it. Now we're gonna place the cover back on for better airflow and protective of the drives. And now if you wanna know more about what drives are uh, MSATA cards are recommended for the Drobo, we have a blog on the MSATA card. So you can just visit our website and under the blog tab, you can find uh, you know, kind of boosting performance with MSATA and on there you will see kind of three of our recommended MSATA cards for your Drobo, and also a little bit more about how the MSATA card works. Now you can also go to our resources tab and see the drive selector page to see what drives to put in or watch some of our other videos of how to even insert drives.